G'day Saints fans and welcome to another edition of The Engine Room. Today we're going to look at something a little bit different. The frequently asked questions about rotations and GPS data. We know they drive some fans mad, so today we have Simon Carney here, our Sports Science Manager, to discuss some of the issues. So we look at the screen and our first scenario is the one that people ask a lot. Seb Ross kicks the goal and then comes off. Carnes, can you explain what happens here? Well, you can see Sebi here, here he's kicked the goal uh, and off he gets. So yeah, this, one's, this one happens nearly after every goal. Um, there's only a couple of occasions throughout a game where you can get a player off safely, as we say. So that is one where neither team obviously has the ball, so it's safe to get the player off then. Uh, the other one too is normally around um, uh, when the ball's on the interchange side of the field as well. That's the other time we can actually get guys off. Um, but each player has a number of uh, rotations they need to get throughout the game, and usually the player then knows when he's kicked the ball, when he's kicked the goal that uh, he may only have two rotations for that quarter, and, that, and there's one of them there he can get off then. So second scenario as we watch the play unfold is Jack Stephen comes off after about two minutes into the quarter. So I think we'll see in a minute here, Jack Stephen. It's only literally two minutes into the quarter and he's already coming off. Why has this happened? Joey, that's a uh, good point as well. You'll probably notice here too, a couple of Melbourne guys will take off here as well. So most clubs do it, but um, it saves getting, say, three midfielders off at the same time. We like to have the likes of Joey and Armo and Jack uh, in the middle, inside midfielders with some younger players. So we need to kick that line off nice and early so we don't have all three midfielders coming off at the same time. So. The mids will come off around about every seven or eight minutes. Um, so if we kick the, the mids off at around three, we'll get a couple more at around seven and then at 10 and 14 and so on and so forth for the rest of the quarter. So most clubs do it, um, but yeah, they're not coming off due to fatigue. They're coming off uh, more just to, to kickstart that line. So lastly, we're gonna have a look at some of the data that we get judged on week to week and why we wear our GPS devices. So Simon here will explain each one of them and basically what a good score looks like. Thanks Joe. So we, we look at four measures here. The volume, which is the total meterage that you get for the game. Um, someone like Joey and other elite midfielders will get between 15 and 16 k's a game, which is, uh, which is very high. Uh, meters a minute is your work rate per minute and how much ground you cover per minute when you're on the ground. Um, elite midfielders will get around about 150 plus meters a minute on that one. Uh, the high intense running is our, our sprints um, and we look at each division there, we've got certain percentages that they must get. Uh, an elite uh, midfielder like Joey, Armo, Jack, these types of guys, Jack Stephen, these types of guys will get around about uh, 12, 13 plus percent for that. And the intensity efforts are your, your high end running plus your high end takeoff speed. So uh, a lot of guys will get about 100 plus efforts of those as well. So. Each division and each position on the ground is graded, uh, which is specific to their own division, and also players' ability, running ability is taken into consideration as well. So, uh, coupled with the rotations that, you know, Joey's getting on a bit now, so he'll, we'll give him a couple more rotations for the quarter, but we need to keep these guys fresh, uh, enabled to achieve th these high expectations within those variables. Um, and for every minute, or every time that you're out on the ground, or for every minute longer than you should be, uh, your game intensity does tend to drop a fair bit. So each player has their own set rotations as well and each player has their own targets to reach for the GPS. So there you have it Saints fans. Even though it might seem a bit random and at times frustrating, trust us there's a lot of science and a lot, lot of effort that goes in behind the scenes to make sure that players can run out their the games and be at their peak fitness throughout the whole contest. Thanks for watching this week's edition of The Engine Room.